It was his job to give mission commander Frank Borman permission to fire the rocket that would give them enough velocity to escape the gravitational pull of Earth. In NASA parlance, it was called Translunar Injection, or TLI. It was a historic first. So I thought uh, when this moment comes in history, this is it. The Pope will certainly send a message, the President will come, Sinatra will sing, there'll be some acknowledgement of it. Now in the meantime, of course, it's up to Frank and me, and we're, we're both right up there, we're gonna handle this thing properly. So my went first, I said, All right, you are go for TLI, over. And Frank rose to the occasion, he said, I understand, we're go for TLI. That was it, that was it, that was the whole thing. That was ridiculous, I mean, what, what do we have all this for? If you had to do that one over, what would you say? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I have to think that one over. A few weeks later, I interviewed him again at the World Science Festival in New York City. He was ready. Here's your moment for a do-over. What would you say if you could do it again? Uh-oh. <laughs> well, I would have abide by the NASA rules, which you can't, you, you can't say more than, I think, eight words in a row, and preferably they all be monosyllabic. But <laughs> under those conditions, I would say, Apollo 8, uh, the moon is yours.